What's going on guys? Welcome to this week 5 video. We're taking on 1-3 and three Mississippi State in this one. Uh, shouldn't be too tough of a matchup. They're towards the bottom in statistics pretty much across the board. Uh, they've had a tough go of it in terms of their schedule to this point. They've lost to Oklahoma, Georgia, who are both undefeated, and 3-1 and one LSU. Uh, they did get a win at UAB, but uh, definitely not a ideal schedule situation for Mississippi State this season. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into the game highlights and see uh, how it turns out. So we are going to be playing in a lot of new stadiums this season that we haven't seen yet in this series. And Davis Wade Stadium is next on the list, taking on the Mississippi State Bulldogs. They're struggling a bit on the season. We're hoping to take advantage. Let's jump into the highlights. Uh, we get the ball first. So we're moving the ball down the field across midfield already. Look at that perfect pass there to Gerard Cole on the left sideline. Wildcat formation on third and two, handoff to Justin Brooks. He's going to be about two yards shy of the first down there. And on fourth and two, we're going to try to go for it, get some early momentum. Option keeper for Falunuku takes it up the middle, gets the first down, takes the slide down near the 11-yard line. We're in great scoring position here in the first quarter. But on third and three, Falunuku looking for the slant over the middle, and it's off target. Falunuku starting the game one for five. Not a great start there, but we do get three points on our opening drive. First drive for Mississippi State, Evan Venable taking it on the option keeper. He gets a big gain down to close to the 30-yard line, 26 yards there. On first and 10, Venable on the option pitch out to Metters. He gets the right edge, and he's going to take it all the way into the in for a touchdown. 20 yards on the touchdown run there. And Mississippi State's taking a 7-3 lead in this first quarter. Third and two on our next drive. Faunuku changing things up. Rolling out right under pressure. Finds Justin Brooks on the right side who cuts it back upfield. And picks up a first down. Gain of six on that one. Able to keep the drive alive here. Second and one. Faunuku dropping back to pass. Going over to the right side. Dangerous pass. But Miles Ray comes down with it in double coverage. Third and nine. Faunuku dropping back to pass. Looking over to the right side, got a man, it's Miles Ray, streaking down the right sideline. He's able to haul it in for a 28-yard touchdown, and we're going to take the lead right back. It's 10-7. Late in the first quarter, Venable on third and four, dropping back to pass, going deep down the right side, but it's going to be overthrown, and Mississippi State is going to have to punt the ball here on fourth and four. Second and 15 on our next drive play action for Faunuku finds Cody Urban over the middle, who makes his man miss. And he's down the right sideline, gets into the red zone to about the 17-yard line. And a couple plays later on first and goal at the three, Faunuku is able to find Miles Ray for his second touchdown catch of the day. And faunuku has got things rolling now, 9 of 15 with two touchdowns. Play action screen pass over to Fairchild on third down is going to be caught, but he goes down for a loss of three, and Mississippi State has to punt the ball once again. Faunuku on our next drive after a nice punt return across midfield. He's able to find Brian Miller over the middle on the deep slant route, and he's able to break a tackle and get into the end zone. Big 34-yard touchdown and the third passing touchdown of the day for Micah Faunuku. Still middle of the second quarter here. Venable dropping back to pass. Evades the sack, throws it deep down the left side, but Okocha is there to knock the ball loose. And Mississippi State's going to have to punt for the third straight drive. Faunuku over the middle here to Gerard Cole. Huge play there down close to the 20-yard line. In the red zone now on the 11. Faunuku rolling out right, looking for anything. Goes across the middle to Jeremy Smith, who catches it for an 11-yard reception. Looked like he may have been in the end zone there. But we do challenge, and they confirm that he was not in the end zone. So then the next play, toss out to Allen Samuel Jr. He's able to take it in for the touchdown, and we're up 31-7 here late in the second quarter. Third and three from Mississippi State. Venable over the middle. Should have been picked there by Akocha, but he doesn't even try for it. And Thurman Gist has a 22-yard first down into the red zone. On third and two for the Bulldogs, Venable keeping it on the option. Able to slide through the offensive line there and get the first down before sliding for the first and goal. Next play, Venable dropping back to pass over the middle to Fairchild. That's going to be complete for a four-yard touchdown. Mississippi State is going to go for two here to try to make it a 16-point game. And Venable is able to find Crawford over the middle who gets sandwiched, but he holds onto the ball, and it's going to be a 31-15 score. 
And with under a minute left, we're trying to go down and score before halftime. Faunuku's going to take it himself, but he loses the ball, and McDaniel of the defense picks it up. Unfortunate there. Another turnover. We've been plagued with them all season. But on the next drive for Mississippi State, Metters not able to get the first down there on third and long, so they are going to punt, and we still have a chance here to score before halftime with 20, 24 seconds left. That pass there complete to Brian Miller to the 50-yard line is complete. He gets out of bounds to stop the clock. We've still got a timeout left. Faunuku rolling out right on first and 10, passes it at the last second to Miles Ray, who has it for 21 yards across the 30. On first and 10, Faunuku rolling out left, Looking for anything. He's going to throw the ball here to Gerard Cole, who gets it past the defender and gets into the end zone. With six seconds left on the clock, we're taking a 38-15 to lead. And that's going to be the halftime score. Huge production from our offense, and our defense hasn't been playing as well as they usually do. Hopefully they'll be able to step up in the second half. On third and six, first drive of the second half for the Bulldogs, Venable. Looking, has all day to throw. That one should have been picked by Lebovitz, but somehow it gets through to Matt Walls, and he gets the completion for a first down. Second and 11, Venable dropping back under pressure, evades the sack, and gets it out to Crawford for a 26-yard gain. Mississippi State on the move here, but on third and 12, Venable, he's going to go down. Colton Barton gets the sack, and that's going to bring up a punt situation for Mississippi State, able to push them out of field goal range. Next drive, option keeper for Faunuku breaks a couple of tackles, and he's got the edge on the right side. He's got speed. He got two extra speed points from player development in the offseason. That's just enough to get him the 80-yard touchdown scramble there. Huge play by the quarterback. And that's going to give us a 45-15 to 15 point lead. Pass over the middle is incomplete there on fourth on third and long. That's going to bring up a punting situation again for the Bulldogs. We get the ball back. Faunuku dropping back to pass on first and 10 near midfield. He's going to take off. Breaks it outside. Big stiff arm and he's going to drag his man all the way down to the 23 yard line. Huge game on the ground for Faunuku in this one. Play action on first and goal. Pass over the middle is complete to Cody Urban. And Micah Faunuku has his fifth touchdown pass of the day. 285 yards on 19 of 28 passing. Not the greatest completion rate, but he does have huge stats in this one. Third and four for the Bulldogs. Halfback screen to Sever Meadows goes for 11 yards and a first down. Second and 10 for the Bulldogs. Venable dropping back, looking, going. He's going to go down, but he loses the ball. Unfortunately for us, it's picked up by the offensive lineman. That sets up a third and 16 for them. Venable evades the sack, completes it over the middle to Walls, but he's going to be stuffed a couple yards shy of the first. On fourth down and two, the Bulldogs are going to go for it. Venable looking for his wide receiver on the screen. It's complete to Thurman Gist, but he's dropped for a loss. We're going to take over on downs near midfield. Faunuku rolling out right on play action. Going to take off himself, cuts outside, makes a man miss, and steps out of bounds, but he gets rocked as he steps out of bounds. Surprised there's not a personal foul flag there, but unfortunately that's not really in this game. Dangerous pass over the middle into traffic, and that's somehow caught by Jeremy Smith. And he's got the ball down near the one-yard line for first and goal. Faunuku passing over to Tarheeb Butler, the backup tight end. He's not able to hold on. Unfortunate drop there. That's going to set up a second and goal from the two. Being a little greedy here, trying to get Faunuku more touchdowns, but unfortunately he's going down for a 13-yard loss on the sack, and that sets up a tough third and goal from about the 16. And Brian Miller does make the catch, but he's not able to slip a tackle there, and he ends up going down short of the goal line. So to start the fourth quarter, we're going to take the three points and extend our lead to 40. And at that, here in the fourth quarter, we're going to put in our backups on offense and defense. Third and 18, Venable hits the screen pass over the right side, but it's dropped well short of the first down anyway. And Mississippi State's going to have to punt once again. Third and five, Nick, Nate Harvickson going over to the middle. It's dangerous pass into triple coverage. Somehow, Gerard Cole comes down with it. Amazing catch there. Sets us up in the red zone now. Second and 10, pass over the middle to the defensive back, Chris Hare Griffin who's in the game at wide receiver. He gets his second career touchdown catch on that one, making it 62-15. Next drive for Mississippi State. Big pass over the middle to Deshaun Hood for 31 yards into our territory. A couple plays later, Venable looking over the middle. Diving catch by Deshaun Woods in double coverage. Amazing play there by the Bulldogs, and they're going to 
get uh, up to 22 points at this point. 62-22 is the score. Next drive, Harvick's in over the middle to Killian. It's going to be picked off. And unfortunately, not able to get anybody open on that play and just tried to force it into a window there. So another turnover for our offense. Next drive for Mississippi State on third down. They're going to go down a few yards short of the first. Going to go for it here on fourth. Finnipal on the halfback draw to Metters, and that's going to be stopped about a yard shy of the first. And we're going to take over here on downs with 2.21 left in the game. Trying to run down the clock here. Hand off to Benny Faison, who's going to cut it outside, and he's got space down the left sideline. Does he have enough speed to beat the last guy? He tries to make a move, but he's going to go down around the 12-yard line, but not until he gets 56 yards on the play. Option play here on first down. Next play, Harvickson taking it out right, trucks a defender, and pitches it out to Miles Ray for a good measure. He's able to get in for the 12-yard touchdown run, and our lead is now 69-22. to Third and 12 pass over the left side. Albert Crawford's got the first down for 17-yard gain. Mississippi State trying to get on the board here before the end of the game. Third and 10 now with the clock expiring. Pass over to Meadows on the right side who evades the tackle and powers his way into the end zone for a touchdown as the clock hits zero. Micah Faunuku ends up getting player of the game with almost 200 yards rushing, three, over 300 yards passing. And the final score in this one's going to be 69-29. Defense a little shaky today, but offense definitely able to make up for it by quite a bit. Ended up getting a 40-point win in this one. Outgained them three or a 676 to 393, and just still can't buy a takeaway. We we're having some trouble this season defensively and um, forcing turnovers, but we did end up getting a big win. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the top 25 matchups here in Week Five. Virginia Tech's going to get a 36 to 33 overtime win over number 23 Miami. Number two Clemson goes to four and zero with a 45-21 win over number 17 Pittsburgh. Number 20, Oregon State ends up scoring 28 points in the fourth quarter to get a 49-35 win over number 18, Tennessee. Number 4, taking on number 5 in this one. Number 5, Wisconsin gets a 38-21 win over Ohio State. And those are the only upsets here in week 5. So we're going to go ahead and move on to week number 6. So we did end up getting one more recruiting commitment this week uh, with Landon Sherman. Four-star wide receiver out of Waycross, Georgia. He's six foot one, 199. Another speed guy, 90 speed, 91 acceleration. The 85 route running is really good. Uh, Going to be another sort of slot speed type receiver. Uh, might end up running some like jet sweep type of plays with this this guy. So uh, another great wide receiver to add to our uh, squad here. And that's going to do it for this video. Uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow for our matchup on the road against Arkansas. Another new stadium that we haven't been to yet in this series. Should be a fun one. Uh, be sure to like, uh, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff for me. I really appreciate it. We'll see you guys tomorrow for this matchup against Arkansas.